Find the missing side lengths and angle measurements. Beta is 112 degrees, gamma is 19 degrees, and the length C is 23 meters. I like to write this down right on the triangle so that I don't get confused later on. So the side length of C is 23 meters, gamma is 19 degrees, that's a Greek letter, gamma. Uh, the angle beta, another Greek letter, that angle is 112 degrees. It looks like this triangle is certainly not drawn to scale, and oftentimes with these problems, it'll say on there, the triangle is not drawn to scale because 112 degrees is bigger than 19 degrees, but it doesn't look like that on the triangle. But we've got, we have our, um, our three angles, three sides, so it's still a triangle. It's oblique, meaning that it does not have a right angle. And you've got sides A, B, and C. So we're going to find uh, side lengths A and B and this angle alpha, another Greek letter denoting the angle measurement. By the way, um, a lot of trigonometry is done in radians. Right now we're in degrees, so make sure your calculator is in degrees when you are working problems that have uh, degrees in the triangles. All right. The sum of all of the angles in a triangle are 180 degrees, so let's go right away and find alpha. Alpha is 180 degrees, that total minus the 112 taken up by beta, minus the 19 taken up by gamma. So right away we have that alpha is 49 degrees. The angle of that verte vertex is 49 degrees. And I'll write it in there so we don't forget it later on. Now, the law of sines. This is sine of alpha over side length of A equals sine of beta, that angle bang beta over side length B equals sine of gamma over side length of C. And by the way, certainly other textbooks, um, other places where you look might use different letters and Greek letters to denote the side lengths and the angle measurements, and that's fine. The point is the sine of an angle divided by its opposite side length equals the sine of another angle divided by its opposite side length. So th that's the way the law of sine works law of sines. Let's go and find A, side length A. We're told right here sine of alpha over A equals sine of beta over B. We're not going to use the, actually we're not going to use the uh, the beta and B because we don't know B. We're just going to use sine of alpha over A and sine of gamma over C. Those are equal to each other, so I'll write those down right here sine of 49 degrees over the unknown A equals sine of the 19 degrees over the side length C, the opposite side length. Oh, that C we know. That is 23. And now we can multiply by A and then divide by this and we would get A equals 23 multiplied by the sine of 49 degrees over sine of 19 degrees. And you can take that step by step. That is, I multiplied A by each side, and that cancels out uh, the A here. And then I multiplied by 23, that brings it over to the sine of 49, and then divided by sine of 19. So that's how I got to this. Uh, if you type this into your calculator, I'm going to write that down real quick in some of these uh, graphing calculators, like some of the Texas Instrument calculators. You want to be very careful with the parentheses, so you would say 23 times and then hit the sign button and then open up parentheses, 49, and then make sure you close those parentheses before you then divide sign of 19 degrees, close parentheses. And again, make sure your calculator is in degrees mode, not radians. So, in the end, we'll get all that and we get 
a, the length of a, equals 53.32 meters. We started with a label, so we should put our final answer in with a label. And of course, that's rounded. We had to round after two decimal places there. And lastly, we've got to find side length b. So let's use sine of beta over b equals sine of gamma over c. And so you've got sine of the beta is 112 degrees over the b is the unknown equals sine of 19 degrees over the 23. This will look very similar to what we did for A. Multiply each side by B and then um, and then multiply by 23 and then divide by sine of 19 and you'll get B equals 23 multiplied by sine of 112 degrees divided by, I'm going to write this so I don't run out, run out of space, divided by sine of 19 degrees, and in the end you will get B equals 65.50 meters. And I've noticed a comment in at least some books. They say, if you're doing these and you're looking in the back of the book for answers, sometimes your answers will be just a tiny bit off if you've rounded too early which I tried not to use answers that I had already rounded. I went right back to answers that we knew that were given to us, 19 degrees and, 20 and the length of 23. But anyway, you might be off by a decimal in the hundredth place if you, if you round too early and then use that, like if we were to use this A value. All right, there was an example of the law of signs.